Now today I'm going to be showing you the proper words you have to use as a man to influence your subconscious to make your dating life far better. Okay, now I'm trying to keep this channel going as best I can. Um, for the past two weeks I've been very sick. Um, I got pneumonia and I was coughing so much I've lost my voice. Now, it's kind of a shit show and it's hard for me to speak, but it's easier if I talk slower. So kind of just bear with me. Um, I do apologize and I do hope I get my voice back as soon as possible. But I also don't really believe in taking breaks. I believe the show must go on. And since this is my channel and this is what I do as I help you guys, I make sure that I do that no matter what. Rain or shine, come hell or high water. So, today I'm going to be showing you the language that we use as men that will drastically improve your dating life and how this affects your subconscious. Now the reason why I'm making this is because I believe most dating content on the internet, okay, is far too toxic and puts majority of men up in their head. And then a lot of problems happen. You lose your social flow. You're not very captivating. You think being masculine is being so rigid, so now you're closed off. It's hard for you to socialize. It's hard for you to meet new people. Don't act like that's not true either. For most of you, the more content you consume, the worse your dating life gets. And I'm going to explain why. The reason why is because the language that we use as men affects our subconscious. Now, a big thing with women is you got to set the vibe and you got to set the mood and you got to make sure the masculine to feminine dynamic is on point by making that woman feel good. Well, how do you make her feel good? You have to bring the right vibe and the right energy. So let me explain to you what I mean. The best way you can do this as a man to improve your dating life is you remove harsh words. Okay, let me explain to you what I mean. When you remove harsh words, you become free, you become open, and you become more social, okay? So let me just break this down step by step. The first example I'm going to give you is the word assertive. This may not be a very good word to use to help your dating life, and here's why. If you tell a man or if you say to a man, be assertive, you know, when you approach a woman or be confident, be confident and be assertive, show that you're assertive and show that you go after what you want. I understand we all like to tell ourselves we're tough, we're masculine men, we have no problem with being assertive, but that's hard for a lot of guys, especially if you're not super confident or especially if you're not super captivating to begin with. And the word assertive a lot of times has a harsh tone to it. If you think about being assertive, you think about being brash. You maybe even think about being slightly rude or slightly arrogant. That's hard for most men. That's hard for anybody. Not a lot of people want to be like that. So you can get the same result by swapping out the language play. Okay? This is pure psychology. And this is you almost tricking yourself into becoming the best version of you. So let me explain to you what I mean. We remove the word assertive. What's going to be the fill-in word? Well, instead of assertive, we now use the word charming. Look how much easier that is. Okay? You're charming. You're open. When you speak with her, you're not trying to be assertive. You're trying to be charming. You make her feel good. You carry that interaction in a way where she gets butterflies when she talks to you. Well, make no mistake, by you doing that, you're naturally being assertive. She's going to look at you as this guy who's captivating, who's charismatic, who says the things that he wants. But you're coming at it from a tone and you're coming at it from a vibe where now there's cohesion. Now you're operating almost out of love instead of your own selfish desires. Now, when you operate out of love, you end up fulfilling your own desires too. But the point that I'm trying to make to you is you need to use soft words. Soft language helps your psychology. 
Soft language helps you feel better. Soft language helps you take risks without those risks being scary. So you're not trying to be assertive. You're trying to be charming. You are charming. When you say, hi, how's your day? Okay, any word that comes out of your mouth, you hit it with the right tone. You hit it with the right spirit. That energy state transfer is how a woman falls in love, okay? It's the tonality. So that's the first example. Assertive turns into charming. That charm brings out your inner charisma. Let's take this at a deeper level. Not a lot of guys use the word leading. You have to lead, you have to be a leader, okay? Or leading on a date. Make sure you lead, okay, is what guys are told. Once again, for a lot of guys, this can be scary. When you think leader, now you think masculine, now you think you have to put on this persona, now you think you have to try too fucking hard. And now you're in the wrong energy. When a man is purposefully trying to lead, a lot of times he'll come off as too try hard. So what's the language play that we use? What's the psychology flip that we use? Instead of leading on a date, we tell ourselves, hey, we're just going to show her a good time. Showing the woman a good time. I'm going to show you a good time. Think how different that is. If you say, hey, I'm going to just, my whole goal when I'm in a social setting, my whole goal when I'm even with friends, okay, my guy friends or, you know, friends out on a date or friends or a girl I'm seeing, no matter who you're around socially, I don't care if you're on a date or just hanging out with your friends. If you tell yourself, I don't have to lead anything. My whole goal is just to show other people a good time. Well, what happens? You naturally start to lead. You become the guy who's the leader of other people's emotions. You say, hey, let's do this. It would be fun if we do this. When we do this, it's probably going to feel like this and we're going to experience this. You're now in flow. Okay. Leading now just turns into showing her a good time bringing the right vibe. Soft words can help your psychology. Soft words can help you get out of your own head. Soft words can help you remove a lot of these false beliefs that keep you stuck in thinking you need to be this rigid masculine robot and helps you be a normal person again where you're open, okay? I think a lot of the content online that men watch is too harsh. The real world doesn't operate like that. Harsh people with harsh, rigid personas are not typically the most fun to be around and women love fun. They're also not typically the most captivating and women like a guy who's captivating. This is important to understand. You know, this really is too like the older I get, I don't really like words such as um, like dominance or... Um, assertive. I don't think they're very good. Um, and what I wrote down here on my notes is I don't like these words because I think it puts guys in their head and ruins their social flow. Now, these words, okay, what you have to remember about every single person you watch on the internet is that that person a lot of times has certain beliefs whether those beliefs that that person or that content creator that you're watching online, whether those beliefs are true or not, the problem is that a lot of times the content creator believes them fully to be true. So that energy state transfer that they have through the camera, since their conviction in their tonality is now at a 10 out of 10, you believe it. So what tends to happen is guys get put in their heads and the information that's being served to you, you don't necessarily know if it's true or not or if it's going to help you. So these words that can be very harsh, okay, what will happen is a guy gets trapped in their head and they start to shift their identity and their persona and who they are and their personality starts to change the more people you watch and allow yourself to be influenced by okay even just look at the word influenced or influencer 
if you're being influenced by somebody, that means that you believe that they have the ability to influence you. Whether they are influencing you to something that's positive or negative, you're not necessarily sure because they say it with so much conviction, you believe it to be true, so you naturally trust them and you naturally think that it's going to be good. This is bad, okay? That's why I'm trying to tell you that a lot of channels that are heavily focused on dating, dating content, masculinity, being a leader, all this stuff, it can make your dating life worse because it puts you into your head. Okay, and it can ruin a lot of social interactions and good dynamic that you would have had between people by being a normal fucking dude. A lot of the like, a lot of the stuff it makes these like it, it's hard to actually relax and let go when you consume so much of that type of stuff. So another word that I don't necessarily like is guys say making a move or escalating. Oh, here's how you escalate. Here's how you make a move. Once again, puts a guy in his head. Okay. And then it can also make you not necessarily calibrated. Instead of saying that we turn this into, Hey, you know, if the vibe is there, one thing may lead to the next. What does that do? Well, it puts the, the emphasis on the vibe. And do you know how much nicer it is or how much easier it is if you have a woman who is dating you or a woman that you're seeing and maybe she initiates those things first? Talk about genuine desire. Talk about not needing to have outcome dependence of an interaction. Okay, when you focus on these things, it can make your dating life harder. So making a move, we, re we change the psychology play. We change what we say in our heads and we say, hey, if the vibe is there, one thing leads to the next, cool. Maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. But when you act like you have to make a move or you have to have this go somewhere with this girl, your lustful pleasures start to control you, okay? And then you start to judge yourself worth based on if an interaction was positive or negative, and that's all bullshit because that makes it harder for you to date, okay? When a woman is with a guy, she wants it to be smooth, she wants it to feel effortless, she wants it to feel like the guy doesn't have to try too hard, she wants it to feel organic, and she wants it to feel like there's natural chemistry. Well, how do you do that? You do that by adopting some of these language plays that I'm teaching you. So. The bottom line that I'm trying to teach you with this video is to always use words that bring peace, love, and tranquility to your life. That peace and that love and that tranquility, now you operate out of the right state, okay? And make no mistake, when you operate like this, the woman will actually see, assume, and feel that you are more masculine because you actually have the spark that a lot of guys don't have. A lot of men are very closed off. A lot of men are in the shell, okay? Now I tell you that because a lot of guys, what you're gonna see who are giving you advice on the internet, what a lot of these guys do is they try to put layers onto their um, external to make up for internal insecurities. So a lot of these guys who you're watching have probably gained a following based off being very brash, um, being very um, uh, strong persona or strong personality and almost a bit arrogant. And what you have to remember is a lot of those guys are dealing with specific traumas from their own past too. So what do they do? They keep putting on more muscle. They keep telling you, oh, get that big bank account. Oh, make a lot of money. Oh, she's naturally going to follow your lead because look at what a top dog you are. And dude, that's just not how the shit works. A woman follows her own emotions. And the only way you have the right sort of emotional pull or leverage that a woman sees with you is by having relationship cohesion and interactions that feel effortless and natural and I think the problem with a lot of men is if you keep consuming this type of information that is so centered on masculinity, 
you start to become rigid. You start to lose your sense of self and you start to become something that you didn't necessarily want to become in the first place. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Influencers are oftentimes trying to influence you because their conviction level in their tonality is so high. You don't necessarily know if you're being influenced to a good outcome or a bad. You're just being influenced. And then their energy state transfer that they have through the camera and through the microphone, since it's so high, since they believe what they're saying is so true, you naturally take it as truth. And you got to remember that's not always true. Okay? Bring peace in your life. Bring tranquility. Anything that makes you feel good mentally through soft words is typically going to help your social interactions. And then things don't seem scary. Then talking to that pretty girl doesn't seem scary. Making new friends doesn't seem scary. You become a better individual. If you like this video, if it made sense, I want you to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.